Subscribe and like, please. In the vast expanse of time and history, few mysteries have captured the collective imagination like that of the Ninth Legion. Once a mighty Roman force numbering around 6,000 men, they marched proudly through the misty veils of antiquity, their destination the far-off lands of Britannia. Yet, as they neared their objective, they vanished without a trace, leaving behind only whispers of an unexplained disappearance. The Ninth Legion's journey began in the year 43 AD when Emperor Claudius ordered the Legion to conquer the northern lands beyond Roman Britain. They marched northward, their spirits high and their morale unbroken. Little did they know that their destiny was far more intriguing than a simple conquest. As they traversed through the enchanted forests of Caledonia, strange occurrences began to plague the Legion. Soldiers reported seeing ghostly figures lurking in the shadows, while others swore they heard haunting chants echoing through the night. Fear started to seep into their ranks, weakening their resolve. The gods of Rome, ever watchful, could not ignore such a tumultuous affair. Jupiter, the king of the gods, was particularly intrigued by this mystery. He sent his trusted messenger Mercury to observe and report back on the situation. Mercury arrived in the form of a young Roman centurion blending seamlessly into the legion's ranks. As Mercury delved deeper into the enigma, he discovered that a powerful Drydus named Velda held the key to the Ninth Legion's disappearance. She was a seeress with divine powers granted by the goddess Diana herself. The Drydus had foreseen the Romans' arrival and sought to protect her people from conquest. Velda had summoned the aid of the Celtic gods, who retaliated by sending their own forces to confront the Romans. A fierce battle ensued one that left both sides reeling in defeat. But it was not over yet. Velda called upon the most powerful deity of all the Morrigan, the goddess of war and fate. The Morrigan appeared on the battlefield, her eyes glowing with an otherworldly fire. She declared that she would decide which side would prevail in this conflict. But her ultimate decision was not a simple win or lose. Instead, she chose to take the Ninth Legion for herself. In the blink of an eye, they were transported into another realm, leaving their physical bodies behind on the battlefield. Mercury reported back to Jupiter, who was furious at Velda's audacious actions. He demanded that the Drydus be held accountable for her interference in Roman affairs. With a thunderous roar, Jupiter summoned the mighty Minotaur to wreak havoc upon the Druids and their lands. The battle between the gods would rage on for Jan's a testament to the divine struggle at the heart of the Ninth Legion's mysterious disappearance. But even as the gods battled it out, the legionnaires remained trapped in the other realm. Their spirits were bound to this strange new world, unable to return home. They lived out their days in this enchanted land, their stories becoming part of the rich tapestry of ancient Roman mythology. Thus, the legend of the Ninth Legion lives on a haunting reminder of the power and mystery that lies just beyond our understanding. Through the lens of ancient Roman mythology, we can explore the depths of this enigma seeking answers to questions that have puzzled historians and scholars for centuries. The gods themselves may hold the key to unlocking the truth behind their mysterious vanishing, but only time will tell if their secrets will be revealed. And so we embark on a journey through the annals of history delving deep into the heart of this enigma where myth and reality intertwine, and the gods themselves may hold the answers to the mysteries of the Ninth Legion's disappearance.